So this handsome light skin guy does loyalty tests where he'll have guys DM him, be like, hey, test my girl, I wanna sure. see. And this happens a lot. Oh, man. Enjoy, here's oh, what happened. Man. Well, first off, your girl shouldn't respond. Yes. Your girl shouldn't even be able to respond to another dude that even slides in the DM. Cause you shouldn't be like, he says something even crazy, funny. What? What do you mean by that? They'll be oblivious to him. They'll be saying like, oh, they're just saying hi. And they said hi back. No, we're yeah. together. Though. Don't you know what's happening? Here? Nah, uh, if the girl responds, I'd already be, I'm yes. already, I'm already over it now. Loyal girls don't respond. That shouldn't even happen. That's not like him. Well, we'll see. Here we go. So this guy DM me, he said, yo, I need a test bad. I've been with my girl for almost three years now and I'm starting to look at engagement rings. I wanna make sure she's locked in before I drop a bag. I said, of course I got you. How old is she? He told me she was 27, about to turn 28, and he okay. dropped her at. I got to work. If you need a test, I'm accepting requests right now on Lazo. The link is in my just bio. Your private account. She accepted my follow request, but she didn't follow me back. That was a good sign. I decided to DM her by swiping up on her story. She had posted Future's new album, so I swiped up and said, when she listens to Future. She said, I thought people who listen to Future were toxic. I told her, maybe I don't mind a little toxic, with the winky emoji. She liked my message and said, only a toxic man would say that. I told her I have my moments. Deep down, I'm a good guy, though. She said, hmm, we'll see about that. Whoa. Right here, I could tell she was flirting with me, so I decided to turn it up a notch. I said, let me take you out, show you how good I am. She said, where? I said someplace nice, expensive. Red Lobster, Red Robin, what you feeling? Bruh. She said, elevate out. The Those experiment's been options. over. It's, it's <laughs> over. No, no, hey, hey, bro, head. can you stop DMing yourself? I have to overwrap the second message, dude. <laughs> this is actually lit for him on the on the contrary. No, he's actually planning dates. He gets to be the <laughs> rebound to all the broken relationships now. That's literally the best time to hop in. Oh, fuck. When you book it with this guy, hey, dude, you can stop messaging. The experiment's over. No, she failed. Yeah, can you stop now? No, no, she sent the video, too. He's, like, sending you more than you need. Dude, dude, you... Why are you still? Bro, she's the guy's like, you know, we gotta go out just to make sure, you know, I'm gonna make sure she, she's really. Pick up the DMs. Yeah. It's us on the date, bro. What? Here's her on the date. That's her, right? Yeah. And back at your place with her, bro. We're in bed now, bro. Try You're gonna to have to call us up. Bro, you gotta tell her. Just, you gotta break up with her now, bro. I'm trying to get some intel for you, bro. Might have to stay, stay the night. Sending videos of him getting his sucked, whatever. Bro, she sucked my dick. Bro, it's getting crazy. Call off the engagement, brother. Putting some extra hours on this case. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, bro. Fail, bro. Yeah, bro. I wouldn't be with her no more. You got any other girls you need to test for? Is that any of your friends over that need tests? Hey, Doing it all week. Doing tests all week. Bane just, just gasses him up. He's like, oh yeah, I really am that attractive where girls well, yeah. three, three years want to f me right now. Damn. You only have to show the one text. Yeah, just say, hey, bro. Like, <laughs> she messaged back. She's kind of already floating already. Like, <laughs> he's actually going thread, a whole thread of messages. Let me, uh, and he's like getting her worked up to where, like, bro, imagine that's your girl of three years. I said, bet, what's your number? And she gave it to me. At this point, me and her, we had a connection. She was definitely being friendly. It was time to report back to her boyfriend. I sent him the screenshots of our messages and said, I don't think she passed. I don't think. <laughs> no. no, he should just said, here's what happened. <laughs> he didn't need to say, I don't think. Or just send the pictures with nothing else. How are you the teacher and the student fails the testing? You give it back and be like, I don't think you passed. No, no, you didn't pass. <laughs> Either you did or you, you didn't. No, you didn't. You, didn't, no, you didn't. just give me the paperback. You don't have to say anything. He sends a video of her slopping him up. I don't think she Not passed. sure about this one, not dude. Sure. Not sure she's loyal, brother. <laughs> did give me her number and said she was a toxic, but he said I could take her out for somewhere to eat. Bruh. He said, bro, that's effed up. Don't say slash post anything yet. I'm going to confront her this weekend. I told him, bet, let me know how it goes. I don't think she passed, but on the bright side, he doesn't have to spend money on that engagement ring. If you need a loyalty <laughs> test, I do them on Lazo. The link is in my bio. Looks like we found another one for the streets. Y'all stay safe out there. That could have been a commercial, though, too, to promote his Lazo. Bro. 100%. You know that that's what it's realistic. Bro. It's realistic. He does bro. enough of them to the point where I would okay, believe. See, I wouldn't know. I don't know. And also, we don't see the messages, so unless he's got a girl that's a friend and they're just playing back and forth, you have to believe him. If he says this is true, then I just say it's true, but you'll never know. It's just the modern day cheater show, like how to catch a cheater or whatever. Remember, you know that show? Yep. Nah, that's crazy. Folding that fast after being in a long term relationship. Folded under minimal pressure. Bro, Def went on the date, though. He went there with the date. Yeah, man, he texts him back. Yeah, man, we're broken up. It's like, bet. <laughs> Text her. Heard you broke up. Bro, can you post the loyal girls too? We need happy endings. Oh, damn. Oh, brother. There is none. <laughs> if this guy's messaging, then no. yeah. Oh. Men especially get this sort of infatuation with women where they think it's sugar, spice, and everything nice until this guy <laughs> DMs your girl. Yeah, if you think she's cute, how many other guys are probably thinking she's cute too? And girls love attention. How many times have you guys witnessed in person or online girls folding on three year, two year, five year relationships? Happened a lot. And that's not saying, oh, men are just, the, oh, they don't cheat. 
men cheat a whole bunch too, and so do women. And it makes it so much easier now with these apps and with TikTok, Instagram DMs, access to any hot guy, hot girl. It's very hard to find somebody very loyal. Things like that happen. Climate. And he's got a whole bunch of these. And isn't that sad? The guy was like, I'm ready to buy an engagement ring, all for her to fold for a Red Robin bottomless fries. Red Lobster, Red Robin biscuit. That's all that she was about to fold for. Three years down the drain. For, for, a, for a $50 dinner meal? For a Red Robin cheese bit. Excuse me. Let <laughs> me say it again. Three years down the drain for a Red Lobster garlic cheesy biscuit. Not even a $100 tab. But she listened to Future though. That's why. She's toxic. It's an evil world we live in. IG loyalty test. Here's another one. Holy First shit. First off, him, her even accepting it. I haven't even chosen. I don't know what's happens in this one. Let's hope there's a happy ending. So this guy messaged me on Lazo. He said, hey, I'm worried my girlfriend is just dating me out of convenience. We live in Atlanta, she's 27, and she wants to be famous for no reason in particular. What? I would like you to see if she would be receptive to talking to you and if she says she has a boyfriend when asked. He gave me her at and I got to work. If you need a test, I'm accepting requests right now on Lazo. The link is in my bio. His girl was definitely a wannabe influencer. She had a couple thousand followers and a public profile. I knew just the way to play this. I followed her and liked three pictures. Bro. Like an hour later, she followed me back and I slid in calling. Bro. I asked her if her Instagram name was the same as her real name. She said, yeah, dot, dot, dot. Why do you ask? I said, that's beautiful. It's so unique. I haven't heard it before. I have a unique name too. Where are you from? She said Zeljin, right? And she told me I should guess. I told her, yeah. And I guessed DC, even though her boyfriend had already told me she was from it. And the guy watching the scene, uh, she guess. Can you cut the experiment, well, the, bro? The follow or, back already. She followed. What a follow back. The follow back. She saw another dude that's not her boyfriend. Like her picture. She said, ooh, I like this. Damn. No, you're insecure. Just because she wants to follow this super sexy man and talk to him, that doesn't mean anything. You're insecure. Now enjoy. I don't need to follow any more guy. Because he could be a network, networker, something. She said, what makes you think that? I told her I was just hoping you were close. I'm in Virginia. She laughed and told me she lives in Atlanta. I said, okay, okay, that's still not too far. I your page though if you ever want to collab on content or maybe i could get you in a music Aww. video that would be dope i was definitely playing the influencer angle she liked the message and told me she'll have to check out my stuff but she said she was down and told me to hit her up if i'm ever in atlanta i said yeah let me know what you think for real good or bad then i asked her if she was single she said no i'm in a relationship what about you I said, damn, the fine ones are always taken. And I told her, yeah, I'm single. She laughed and said, why do you ask? I told her I wanted to shoot my shot. She said, well, I'm sorry for blocking it. I told her it's all good. It'll go in one day. And she liked the message. At this point, I had seen enough. She definitely was friendly, but she never crossed the line. Uh, I had all the messages, sent them back to her boyfriend and told him, I guess she passed. He marked the mission as complete. So I guess he was satisfied. Uh, I mean, following a random guy that you don't know, just following back. And entertaining him for that long. And entertaining just to be like no you have a boyfriend but now that i follow you if i ever break up with them no facts i know and you said one day the shot going well this guy said he did want to be did want to be with me because if you accepted it for a business deal or something then why weren't you adamant on going straight to the deal why i have to check your stuff out or whatever just be like, yeah let's work together that's the reason why i followed you actually and also but she didn't say that and people might look at that and go no it's all purely business look and then they meet up and then things happen <laughs> it's not when he already explained his like interest like are you single that already means he has some sort of feeling right. so it's like you're right, right. nah get he said yeah i'm trying to shoot my shot nah she just waiting until after they break up yep exactly he def could have got her to fold if he kept putting on pressure yep she failed liking that last message yeah. Being friendly is a fail. Failed, especially with the liking that it'll go in yep. one day. Oh, yeah, oh I didn't even see that. No, yeah, that's what she did. He said that was his last message. Why'd you leave on scene? First off, why'd you even get him that far in the <laughs> fucking messages, bro? Yeah, she ha now has him in the back of her phone log. Like, oh yeah, there's a and guy. And then what? And then do you, do you tell the guy? Hey, could you tell, could you unfollow her? Could you like block her and unfollow her? Like, yeah, because they actually now have that connection now. They they would, and then what happens when he confronts her? He's like, who's this guy? I saw you followed some other dude. What's this guy's name? Could you unfollow him for me? She's like, no, well, we're going to collab together. It's business. It's against his business model to pursue anything further, Ella. You know he has, though. Oh, you know. 100%. Not because why she even follow you back? No, nah, bro, it's too many. And he, and he just has a whole bunch of these. Nah, so do with that what you will. I need a girl that has no social media. That's a fact. You don't want a girl with clout. You don't. And she got to like you more than you like her. That's just my philosophy. Yeah. That's all. If it's this easy, bruh, she should be treating you like this every time you text her. She should be just as excited to talk to you and want to hang out with you. Right. She's going to follow another dude. Like my girl wouldn't want me DMing hot girls for business, possible business collabs in the future. Like what? I just recently spoke to this one kid. He told me my girl three years cheated on me. 
And I said, send me, I said, what happened? Well, I'll just use her phone occasionally for stuff. And like, she'll message guys and stuff, and, but I'm not insecure. So I never think much of it. And I was like, okay, brother, you uh, must be uh, like yeah. 17 or something. You don't get it yet. And then one guy messaged, I saw they had deleted messages before or something. And then I just saw a whole bunch of shit. And I, I'm like, even that guy got brainwashed into the uh, no, you're insecure. You should These just- are my friends from high school. Like, this is just how we all talk. That's her guy friend. You're controlling if she doesn't get to just talk to any guy she wants. It's an evil world we live in. It's an evil world we live in. Yeah, just wait and see. You'll get burned eventually. Time I mean, tells. Win. Time always wins. If someone could get away with getting that attention or that love from someone else, like she didn't think she was on this hidden TikTok video. Like, so imagine all the extra messages from another guy that followed her slid in. Imagine all the undocumented messages. There's a lot that haven't been screenshotted. You'll never know. You'll never know. Just friendly business things. If your girl loves you, she'll give you the password to her phone. Here's a thought. What if your girl's regular girl, not into Instagram uh, influencing, it has nothing to do with her like business or anything. And you go, hey, you should delete your Instagram. If we're gonna be in a relationship, you get no Instagram. People would argue, oh, that's messed up. That's bad. But what would be the purpose? Oh, just a photo diary log. What's the point of that? What's the point of Instagram? It's a dating app. You wouldn't let your girl have hinge it wouldn't be appropriate to be on a dating app it's the number one dating app i would say yes because you can get dating requests yeah, from right. all around the world you don't if you're a girl you don't even swipe they're just gonna come to you you can request anybody you can follow anyone you can like anyone's pictures and that pretty much means oh i like you yes you can dm any account you can video call any account. You don't have to be on a special dating app. Like you can get the top guy and girl just through Instagram. They have vanish mode. You could people are probably talking on there. You could unseen messages now. Imagine if Hinge had more features. That's what Instagram is. Yeah. Instagram is just yeah. Hinge with more features. Mm -hmm. If I told my girl, well, I should be allowed to be on Hinge, everyone would be like, you're ridiculous. That's crazy. But all of a sudden, Instagram's okay, even though it has all the same functionality, if not more. Everybody got an Instagram. I'm not saying what you should do. Or whatever but i'm just saying yeah and i'm asking questions and people that are single posting they're not opposed to dating someone that likes their picture on instagram they almost are hoping they get some sort of attention or some hot guy or hot girl messages you like that's almost the point mm -hmm. or you you get some sort of attention back or something it's a validation app it's a validation app who, who, who followed me who liked me oh they all like this so you see a girl post like a selfie or a bikini pic of them at the beach or something it's like why are you posting that? i know why you're posting that for myself rob same thing with the I'm guy checking, posting their my, abs or something. Checking my story views every second just to see. Yeah. It's like they know someone's gonna double tap. Someone's gonna like it or someone's gonna swipe up. But yep. That's what they want. They're waiting for that. If a girl has a problem with her man liking other girls' photos, then the girl herself shouldn't have an Instagram. Damn. Because other men are liking her pictures. I would say it depends on the pics too. Like some girls post pictures that were, I'm like, okay. Super scandalous. Yeah. Crazy. Like, okay, like you should just put the link in your bio, just post it there. Mm -hmm. yeah, girls will have revealing photos and then tell other guy better not be liking revealing Girl photos post. of other girls but you post revealing photos for other guys to like well that's different I miss when people used to just take pictures of their food and post pictures of the trees and shit we'll bring it back and I was just ass and this is my feed now nah, I'm in Bob I'm a follow food pages follow us on IG follow us